Hey everyone and welcome back to Stellaris and the Roman Star Empire. You'll notice that I've moved forward in between episodes. We are uh, we're already uh, arrived with our fleet here in the uh, well, I don't even know tree jumps system. I suppose it's called, um, and we are about to finish off this Ether Drake um, hostile void worm. Um, who wasn't actually all that hostile. I think they destroyed like one of our systems, which wasn't really all that bad. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna kill him and that should go relatively easily because he's, he's not healing back up. And then I wonder if we're gonna be in trouble with the Larongo Forerunners because the way I interpret it or interpret them is they want to preserve all species and we're basically killing the last one of them here so I wonder how this is gonna go now uh, let's actually move forward and watch this fight and um, this one still might deal some damage to us and kill one of our ships it's very possible but now that we're oof, now that we're in range I think he's going down fast I think we actually lost a ship yeah we definitely lost something there and wow, it's actually still taken a while, but there it goes. The formidable Aether Drake has been slain. The exceptional bravery of Admiral Marthia Lucius and the classes one will s not soon be forgotten. The planetoid, the planetoid, the beast. Oh, the planetoid, the beast guarded so jealously, jealously can now be safely exploited. Who knows what treasures the creature might have amassed over the eons? Oh, that is so good because we're actually getting influence. This is something we need desperately. So, we, uh, yeah, this is commendable, of course. Uh, Matria Lucius gains the Dragon Slayer trait. We gain influence and access to the Empire Unique Dragon Slayer Monument. That is exceptional. We'll check this out. Um, and now our uh, three battleships have arrived as well. The Constantine, Romulus, and Olympus. Uh, Olympus but we had already the Irene two uh in battle uh because um our first battleship the irene one was actually destroyed by this uh species here but yeah let's check out our fleet so we did lose two destroyers is that it yeah apparently that is that is all we lost let's quickly close this here um two destroyers yeah that's not too bad let's repair the fleet send them well do i want to send them back home I don't think so, actually, because there's still other things that we need to destroy. Space Amoeba, uh, Void Cloud, Effluvial Offspring, whatever that means. Um, these pirates, I'm actually going to leave here for now, but we definitely want to deal with them at some point as well. Scarred Veterans. Oh, wow, that's actually 14,000 strength. That's actually a pretty significant force. Um, there's some ancient mining drones, and there's some stuff I want to deal with as well. Yeah, that's 3,000. That's some 5,000 there. Not to be underestimated. So I think we'll get you guys... Hmm. I do want to let you heal up as well. If I... Okay, let's send you guys here. I think that's probably the best. Um, Enter orbit. And then maybe my three battleships that I have. Maybe they can take care of these space amoeba. And then the ancient mining drones. In the meantime. Oh wait. This is. No. This is not the right one. These are corvettes that I've just picked. No. You stay here. Please. Yeah. You were the ones I wanted to pick. Yes. Okay. You can deal with this. And then. Probably with those as well. But we'll see. How you do the others or how you deal with the others. Okay, uh, trade deal has expired with the Kantari and with the Kingdom of Yandarim as well. That's unfortunate. That is truly unfortunate. Let's also make sure that we rebuild um, some ships here. Two destroyers. There you go. And move on forward. Now, I've actually... Uh, Notice a significant slowdown um, right now, so I'm definitely gonna have to try and keep moving forward in between episodes as well, but also in the episode during the episode. I shouldn't be pausing as much, but that's obviously an issue I always have. Complete. Now we have a lot more influence now, plus five, actually pl plus five point five. That's not too bad. We've also finished 
Oh, that's just the construction of the... Um, yeah, I know what that is. Construction of the ships that we've just finished. That's fine. And yeah, complete. we should use our influence probably to get our civic up. I've been waiting on this, but I think it's time to do this now. Nationalistic zeal uh, to get ready for the wars. I think that's fine. We'll reform. That's going to cost a little bit, but that's perfectly cool. Okay, now I think you will build a starbase outpost here, which is incredibly expensive, but worth it nonetheless, I think. And... You are moving there, right? Yeah, okay. And then we'll build the other one as well. We are... Oh. Oh, no, that's not us. Okay, they've um, named someone else's rival. That's fine. I don't actually care. Uh, I have also um, been upgrading a few things. We have uh, gotten a research unlocked. One complete. extra core sector systems. That was relatively quickly. And um, now we're going for the specialty here of Manius Accius. Um, and he's going to be researching galactic complete. markets. They will allow us to build the Galactic Stock Exchange. Um, basically just extra energy credits, but still, I think it's complete. something that we can definitely use in the future. Now, what have we done here? Um, we have... Ah, yeah, we have finished this. So let's build all the research stations and the mining stations. That's all we can do for now. And then we'll see how much influence this costs. To get the rest as well. Um, there it is. We're engaging the ancient mining drones. We don't have a leader here. But I think we can still do it. 4,000. Basically three battleships. Is what we're sending. Um, yeah. We're, it's a little bit quick right now. But I think we should be able to definitely do this. So far we have not... Look at this. They have not even broken our shield. So... Yeah, that's perfect. You are going after this mining station as well. Should be fine. Um, yeah, we've lost nothing. We've completely annihilated them. Should That should be the case, of course, for three battleships. And, whoa. Uh, yeah, this certainly will require a few more of our ships. Our main fleet, I would say, even. Um, are you not moving on to destroy the station? I thought you were. Engaging enemy station. Maybe we shouldn't be destroying this one. I don't know. But yeah, look at this. Our battleships didn't even take damage because it was just it was just the shields. They didn't even they didn't even lose the shields. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm gonna send you to kill the space MOBA as well. Um and we'll be moving onward. Okay, now this construction ship still doing nothing, but there's nothing I could actually use it for, so might as well just keep it there. And, yeah, what was it? Oh, yeah, I did upgrade a few of our planets. Uh, I've closed that, but there were a few things I could upgrade, especially the planetary capital, which I can actually do here. Now, this is a science lab. Let's get the physics. Why not? Um, and we have finished the planetary administration, which means I can now build the alien zoo. Perfect. That's, of course, what we'll do. And hmm, planetary capital is necessary. Let's upgrade this here for engineering. And then, yeah, we should probably build a Batharian power plant here. Ah, oh, and the Dragon Slayer Monument can be built here. That could be built anywhere. 15 unity. Sounds pretty decent. But I don't want to build it on just, like, some planet. I find that stupid. Just some planet? No. Uh, somewhere... Hmm. Where could we build it? We could build in Elysia. Here's the thing, like, we have so much food. We don't need all that much food. Do we have... I don't want to destroy anything either. Where would it be good to build this type of thing? I don't know, maybe one of the newer ones. Maybe like this one. We have some food. Or maybe here. We already have a monument here. I don't wanna I don't wanna build on this one. Atlantis. On this Gaia world, no. Maybe here. Betnash Prime, that's one of our newer ones, giving us extra energy and physics output. Don't really wanna put it here either. But we can oh, we can actually upgrade quite a few things. Let's build 
physics. Physics would make sense here. Here anyway. Uh, power plants. Damn, so much stuff. Uh, you know what? We have so much physics. I actually want to, even though we get the bonuses here. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't feel perfect. I still kind of want to go for the Construction engineering complete. here because we, we kind of need that. Um, so let's get that instead. And then here, get the biolab. Sweet. Okay, we'll build the biolab here as well. And then the rest, I guess, is going to be physics. Like this, for example. We'll build physics. And yeah, this is one of our newer planets. Bennett Nash. Dragon Slayer up there. Maybe... Okay. Um, here's the thing. Maybe we'll rename this to, like, the Dragon Slayer in honor of our leader that got this trait. Sublight Speed Fire Rate. Marthia Lucius. Lucius Prime, maybe? Is that something? Or we'll just call it Marcia. I guess Martia could be a name for a planet. And here we'll build this monument right in the center. Let's build a Dragon Slayer monument. Yeah, suppress that. That's totally fine. Okay, we also get to build a Batharian power plant here. Definitely want that up. And what else have we got? There's so many planets. Basically always something to do. I'm definitely missing stuff. Like someone up... Uh, yeah, leveling up here. Particles expert. Um, and what's this? Oh, we killed the space amoeba. Yeah, of course we did. That was no issue at all. Now, I wonder if we want to fight the clouds as well. We seem to have taken a little bit of damage. Interestingly. Um, I didn't even watch the fight. Can you believe that? Probably should have. Let's move in here with our battleships. I don't know if we can actually deal with this. Um, I'm actually... I mean, I'm certain, but we'll see. Governing ethics shift in the Avarian allied worlds. Following a long period of growing support for peace and prosperity, they have finally embraced uh, their pacifists. Now, this is very interesting because... Weren't they, like, a military junta type of thing? They're now federation builders. So they're likely going to join the Federation, pretty certain. So, yeah, we definitely need to make sure that we get this defensive pact with you guys. We're at negative 13, but that's not enough. That's not enough. We need more. What if I guarantee their independence? Um, if they, they will automatically come to their defense, increase their trust... Up to a maximum of 75 will cost us influence. You know what? I think this is worth it. Well, up to a maximum of 75. Well, I wonder, is this added to the 75 we already have? Or not? Non-aggression pack, research agreement. I don't think that helps. But I guess we'll try. Let's guarantee their independence and see if that at all changes. I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess we can revoke the guarantee. Um, unless that has increased their opinion? Yeah, plus 10. But that's not enough, is it? Yeah, it's not really. We'll revoke the guarantee for now. We don't need it. Um, yeah, that's gonna... Okay, we just gotta keep that in mind. Um, that they will not like that if I keep breaking this. So for now, we're actually further away from the defensive pack. That's fine. But we'll get it at some point, hopefully. Anyways, that's the plan. Um, for sure. Okay, and we should be watching this. So let's check it out. It should be a relatively quick fight. Well, we're not even engaging them, it seems. This is the Void Cloud. It doesn't really seem to be able to do much. Yeah, that was quick destruction. And then we could go for some special debris. But we're not doing that right now. Oh! Whoa! Holy hell! 
We lost a battleship. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, that I did not expect. Okay. And we do need a science ship here to clear the debris. But I will be sending you home now. And you cleared everything I wanted you to clear. But wow, that, okay. That was somewhat unexpected. That we would be killed like that. Holy shit. Oh well. And, ah, uh, look at them. Look at them expanding. But they can't really go f further. They're blocked off here. They're blocked off here now. And here they would have to first fight these pirates. So, they're not gonna come anywhere close to us right now. Unless they get this, um... Drive this jump drive construction um, complete that allows them to, well, uh, ignore hyperlanes. But I don't think they get to research that just yet. But yeah, we lost a battleship here. A fluffial offspring. It's kind of annoying. Probably wouldn't have lost it if I had sent, I don't know, more corvettes and stuff like that. That's a possibility, but whatever. Um, here we've got plenty of science labs. We did just build the alien zoo, and we do have the thing here. Um, let's upgrade it to, what do we need most? Engineering. Let's upgrade this to engineering. Yeah. For now, that's fine. Okay, do we have a science ship available? Apparently not. Apparently not. Um. Yeah, you're stuck there. Um, let's. Let's send you here. Wait. Can you get there? Shouldn't you be able to... Just get here. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is there a... Uh, there's a wormhole here. Right. Okay. Yeah, let's do it this way. How can we get with our science ship over here? We can somehow. Yeah, okay, so we're using two wormholes. We're using this wormhole, and then we're using this wormhole. Um, sure, because the Cantaria are being difficult. But that's fine by me. What do we have here? Oh, we've got a few things we could upgrade. Um, sure. Let's... Yeah, engineering, I think. And... I guess I just... I'm feeling engineering right now. Here? Yeah, gene clinic. Hmm... Uh, let's give me maybe society here. Biolab. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm still waiting for these marauders, each or uh, any one of them actually, to form or to follow a great Khan and cause some, some issues here. I mean, if both of these marauders would actually, you know, sort of um, ally, they could really threaten the... Alliance or the Federation that would be amazing. I would love that actually, but it's probably not gonna happen Okay, all of my wait my science ship is unable to come home. Is that did you just realize that? You just realized that um, oh that is because yeah, Vitrinius You have just declared us rivals Well, I mean in that case we can declare your rival back. It's unfortunate, but if we do this, we at least gain influence, so we might as well. We're already on bad terms with these, with these people, and the Decathans will likely declare as rivals very soon as well. I mean, Science look at this. Division reports success. Yeah, they're just unhappy. Um, so this is not going to take long. And we've finished the part particle lands. Very cool. Heavy energy weapons. Okay, let's see what we can go for now. Oof, tons of things. Now, I think we're going to continue the particle stuff. Zero point reactor. Which I think is even more energy. 
Um, plasma exhilarators. I could see the plasma weapon for now. Because I think we're fine on energy. Where's the other science ship? It was struck, stuck there. We don't have any other wormholes we can use, right? Yeah, we would have to rely on gateways and stuff. Unfortunately. Yeah, dang, I don't know what we can do. I mean, we would have to somehow get through, but they're all blocking it. Blocking us completely. Hmm. Well, let's send our science ship here and the other one here as well. Because I don't know what else to do with them. I didn't actually mean to click here. Um. Cool. I'll have you send and destroy whatever this is. And did I actually rebuild this battleship? I don't think I did. I wanted to, but I never actually did. Another battleship, please. And we'll check out the par particle lances. Um, they might be an acid. I don't know if they're actually really going to make us stronger. Um, likely they will. But um, I I'm going to have to... There's so many things we need to do. I don't think we we're going to be at war immediately. So I will take some time to refit our ships. Because it's always relatively costly. Um, yeah, the rivalry thing we already know. Damn. So I think the war with the... Federation is inevitable. I only hope that before they declare the war, we're going to have the defensive alliance with the Great Hithians. Because I wouldn't want to fight them on my own. Like, that, for certain, would be a little bit too much. But, either way, I guess we're going to figure this out at some point. Uh, not today, because that will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.